North America. Something great and something absolutely amazing. Northern America, Morocco first, has accomplished the first ABO incompatible kidney transplant successfully performed. Congratulations. Piga my coffee. Yeah, we got a piga my coffee on good things. So basically, Morocco has accomplished it. Yeah, for the very first time on the African continent. Kidney transplant successful. We're talking about incompatible kidney transplant. What does this mean? We're talking about kidney transplant from a, the donor was a person from a different blood type as the receiver. This is crazy because in most cases you get rejection sometimes because of you know different types of blood and, you, and usually they won't allow it. But in most cases you don't have it performed. If it is done, it is very very complex and very difficult to execute. So congratulations to Morocco. Piga my coffee. Yeah, piga my coffee. I know it's, it's come to our attention that some Africans want to exclude Moroccans and Algerians and Tunisians from being African. We're not going to allow that. Not in this platform. I'm sorry. Okay. If you think your brothers are just black with a black skin color, you are lying to yourself big time. Because the biggest enemies of black people, trust me, they're who? Now you give the response. Who are the worst enemies? Okay. You may think, let, let's, let's, let's stay focused. We are in Morocco. Here's Morocco, okay? Morocco has done a tremendous thing right now. So, how was the performance done? We need to find out about that. The operation was done at Sheikh Khalifa International University Hospital at Casablanca. They have carried the first ABO incompatible kidney transplant in Northern Africa and the entire African continent. So, what is a kidney transplant? I know you're smart, you know it, but not everybody understands all these things. That's why we're family. That's why we all come together here so we can understand with our little knowledge we share there's no bashing each other here okay if you know better than everybody don't insult us we're just trying you know don't don't come and say no it's not like that that is pure ego and ego is the devil you may be a specialist you can understand at which level we're trying to help each other understand the subject now, before talking about kidney transplant, we need to talk about why do you need a transplant? Usually, people need a transplant when they have a kidney failure. Now, what is a kidney? Kidney is right here. This is a kidney. When a kidney plays an essential role in a human body, okay, the kidney is like two, two little beans at the backside of your, your, your back. The kidney's goal is to eliminate toxins of your blood, just blatantly speaking right now. I'm not going to be scientific. So, the kidney cleans your blood, makes sure things are good in your blood, remove the toxins, all the negative things, all the hoo-hoo's. Flush them out. That's what the kidney does. So all the nonsense that you drink, all the beers, the alcohol, the kidney suffers from that. Obviously, they try to do a tremendous job in keeping you safe and alive. But however, by you drinking too much alcohol and all that nonsense and going down on women, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But that's that's dangerous. So we're going to find out why that's dangerous. The kidney filter and remove certain medications and toxins from the body. So, some medication that you take have to be flushed off your system from the kidney. Now, when the kidney loses the ability to filter all the hoo-hoo's and the negative things, that is when you need the kidney transplant. And that can occur rather slowly or suddenly. And that is the worst nightmare. I don't know if you ever had a family member that's been through that. It's, it's very painful. Now, what are the reasons why you may have kidney failures? Some of the reasons, there are many reasons, some of the reasons why you may have kidney transplant or kidney failure. High blood pressure damages blood vessel in a kidney over time. Number two, we have recurring urinary tract infection. Yes, you could get kidney failure through recurring urinary tract infection. So we're talking about inflection and blockages. So you must be very careful with these things because they can cause long-term damages to the kidney structure. Something we need to talk about here because I know a lot of people are very active here. STDs can cause kidney failures. Yes, sexually transmitted diseases and infections. Be careful, my brother. Be very careful. We're talking about HIV, you know. Uh, with long-term, you could get issues with your kidney. We're talking about hepatitis B and C. Be very careful, my brother. That's some of the most infectious disease, more infection than HIV. We're talking about syphilis. Yeah, look at this. This can, this can cause inflammation in kidney filters. And I know a lot of people, they go do cloof cloof without wearing socks. And they, they have a little bit of tingling and stuff. They don't see the doctors. Now, I'm, I'm very knowledgeable, trust me. Uh, they stay with it for a long time. And they think, oh, it's fine, it's, it's gone, it was there, it's gone. But yeah, it's gone on the spectrum of symptoms. But on the internal side, it's not gone. So your system is constantly fighting these infections. It constantly, in order for me to speak to you, I must be well-read. 
You know what I mean? That this, they, they continuously have to fight to keep you alive. The kidney is doing tremendous work trying to clean the blood, clean the medication. If you took half where you didn't finish the spectrum, it's crazy stuff. So it's very dangerous. HIV, hepatitis, uh, syphilis, some infection that stay there for a long time. You have urinary tract infection, blockages. There's many things. No, it's not only that. You, you get kidney failures for many reasons. These are just some of the reasons that we're speaking for the people that are watching us here. So you need to have a very rugged lifestyle, you know, a very serious, pay attention to details to avoid this type of situation. No? Because if you have never experienced this, I know back in time in many African countries, uh, they will allow you to go to hospital and visit people that you don't know. I know it takes away some sort of a privacy level, but I, I believe, I remember, uh, in some African countries, if you're willing, okay, you're willing to give something to the to the heal and the sick people, such as, you know, uh, groceries, yeah, because not all hospitals feed people, you know. Same as not all prisons feed people in Africa. No, no, trust me, you don't, you don't want to be in prison in Africa. They don't feed people. So your family members have to bring you food in many places. In places where they feed you, the quality of food is trash. It's absolute rubbish. Uh, same for hospitals. Not all hospitals will feed you. Some don't feed you at all. Your family members have to bring you food. Now, in hospitals where they don't have many funds, many opportunities, many, you know, people could go and visit. As you're visiting, uh, you, you know, you, you, you could announce, listen, I've got 10 bags of rice and tins of pilchard. You know what pilchard are? You know, fish in tins. Anyway, which Africans have never eaten pilchard? I'm just asking. Okay, so if you say I'm going to distribute boxes of stuff, they may allow you to come and visit and see, you know, hello, how are you? Thank you. Here's a half a bag of rice, here a few bottles of whatever, boxes of pills. You could, you could see people sick. And I, and I remember that was one of the ways they were pushing us to, to not just help, but also be afraid, you know. When you see these things, you, you, you become very careful. I mean, didn't... Um, King Solomon say it's better to spend a day at a funeral than spending three nights in a party. Because it's truth. It brings you an open mind. I'm just saying, fellas, you are adults, okay? We're all big people here. But the problem is, when you fall into these problems, these type of situations, you're probably going to ask yourself, why well, didn't I know? Like, if I had known that this would lead to this, I would never know. Look, we live in society where our brothers don't talk to you. Look, we grew up in places where our elder siblings... Couldn't speak to us about sex. You know, we couldn't talk about those things. Privacy. We, you, I mean, why are you talking to me about those subjects? Like, they will talk to you like you're disrespectful. And, and this is one thing I really appreciate about other communities where, you know, parents and their children can actually have a discussion about intimacy. I know it's very awkward for us. Not even parents talk about big brothers and sisters. They don't talk to you at all. You, you go learn in the street. You know what I'm saying? So... I hope this, this brings something to somebody. Now, let's get back on track. Let's find out how did they perform this. Morocco has done a great thing. So a kidney was transplanted between a donor and a recipient with incompatible blood types, a complex procedure rarely performed in the region. Like I said earlier, blood types is very necessary. Some people are O's, O+, plus, some people are A's and B's, and AB's, you know. So you need to find people that are same blood type as you for things to go smoothly at least to increase the chances of going smoothly uh, and in this situation unfortunately because you don't always get donors let me put it this way when you have kidney failure your kidney can't pump the things anymore out of your system so it's not useful anymore you have to go to dialysis so dialysis is uh, they put a machine that's going to help your body cleans all the toxins and shit yeah out of your system it's a very expensive very expensive. Some people will do it two times, three times. Then the family cannot handle it anymore because it's very expensive. I, I, I don't want to talk about this, but I have a family member who's been through it. This why the subject is very, very personal. You know, it's it's not easy. It costs a lot of money to put people through dialysis. Imagine, look, majority of people in Africa don't have jobs. And the ones that have jobs, it's not good jobs. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe not the majority of people, but a lot of people have jobs. But they cannot do dialysis. It costs a lot of money. And don't talk about insurances. You don't get insurance. I mean, it's expensive to get like uh, medical insurances. And even the government, uh, why would you even want to talk about the government hospital? These are some of the most useless people ever. I'm sorry, they do a good job. People that have been there, been helped. I'm, I apologize for that. But it's not sufficient. 
apology for saying they're useless. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when your kidney fails and cannot perform anymore, you need dialysis. Now, dialysis in most cases, it's temporary, okay? You can't stay on dialysis forever. They have to find you a, a, an exchange, uh, you know, a replacement. Now, for that, they need to find somebody who's compatible with you. You know, somebody who has the same elements. Usually, it's easier when you, you take from a family member, you know, then you have higher chances of being successful. But sometimes you can't get that. Sometimes you get kidney, a donor, but the blood type is different. You are O, is A, a or B, or whatever. You are A, is a B. You know what I'm saying? So, they had to find a middle ground. Now, these people have done research, they've done tremendous work. They found a way to do a kidney transplant from a different blood type. Congratulations again. If you don't pick up my coffee on this one, you're just a hater and you shouldn't be here. You should be here and before you leave, you should write I'm a hater, then you can leave. But make sure you come back for the next video so you can write I'm a hater again. Anyway. Preoperative phase benefited from guidance of Professor Lionel Rostein, a specialist in ABO incompatible kidney transplant. So a doctor named Professor Lionel Rostein participated greatly in this thing, okay? And I know you, you uh, he's from France and, and many people feel triggered like, yeah, it's not really Moroccan if a French person was involved. Stop being a hater, brother. Morocco has done this because the execution of the operation was done by Moroccan doctors and specialists. That person was part of the team because it was one element where he has so much experience. And this is the very first time Morocco performs this. So we need to accl acclaim them for doing this. This is amazing. And also, why do you hate French people? What did this doctor do to you? She didn't do anything. Come on, man. He didn't do nothing to you, okay? You may be against the French international policies, but this doctor has done absolutely nothing to you. You don't even know if he's married to a black person or a black kid. You see? You see? You see how you are? Nah, he's got a black, a white... No. So, congratulations tomorrow. The result, the patient is now 16 days. By the time the news was released, that's about 20 days now. And the patient is 100% good and everything is functioning perfectly. And he's been put off dialysis. So, the kidney is pumping and doing the job. Congratulations. Piga my coffee, yeah. Piga. Piga. Now, this reminds us of something very interesting that happened on July 29th. In Burkina Faso, right here. You see the map? Burkina Faso, look at Morocco is here on the map. Burkina Faso is right here. Now, Burkina Faso has also done its first kidney transplant for the very first time we spoke about it here for the very first time they've done their own kidney transplant with the help of the turkish turkish doctors specialists came to burkina faso to train the doctors in burkina faso on how to do this type of transplant you know i mean a lot of africans when they need transplant they have to go to india they don't even go to europe anymore because europe is very expensive and in india you're not necessarily welcome i'm sorry but indians don't like black people very much you know in india there are systems of caste the light, yeah, you didn't know this? Have you ever seen a black Indian on the movies? Like a principal actor? No, you never seen that. Go check. You can go check on Netflix now. Look for a black Indian who's an actor, like the superstar. You, you never find that. So in India, the lighter you are, the whiter you better. The, yeah, that's the darker you are. Those are the people that clean the trash, they clean the gutter, they clean the toilet, remove the toilet. That, yeah, that's India for you. Uh, matter we talk about india some other time so in india black people from africa usually yeah they, they don't have a good time so but many africans have to go to india for cancer treatment for dialysis you know dialysis maybe you know liver transplants and stuff like that it's crazy stuff now congratulations because this opens a great door this opens a great door for africans okay in, in the sense that uh, many africans now will not have to go to other countries to get the treatment. Many Africans will just need to go find an African country. Basically, many Africans will go to Morocco. They will go to Burkina Faso to get treated. All right, fellas, thank you so much. It's always a great pleasure. Let me know how you feel about this. We wanted to talk about something very interesting happening in Chad. That's our next video. Do not miss it. You know you want to be here. Again, fellas, YouTube say a lot of you guys watch videos, but you're not subscribed. And I'm still wondering why you're not subscribed. Please do subscribe. Before you leave, drop a comment. We want to read what you have to say. God bless.